Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Midweek. This episode, we're going to be looking at all the events coming up this spring. We're going to hear from all our different ministry leaders on uh, the events and ways to get involved or pray uh, and to uh, just be a part of the church and just be in the know. So let me kick us off with high school ministry. We have uh, two spring retreats coming up. Every other year, we do a guys and a girls separate retreat at Seacrest. And so this year, the first weekend of April, 5th through the 7th, our girls will be heading to Seacrest. Next weekend, our guys, uh, the 12th and the 14th, will be going. And so we love this opportunity to go deep. We just got done with a series talking about gender, masculinity, femininity, marriage. We got to tackle submission and authority. And so this is going to be a perfect follow-up, just digging in, letting us process together as guys and as girls to go deep. And so um, that's online. Go register. It's only $30. Uh, we try to keep this one nice and affordable and uh, so be praying for that that's a great opportunity we love this retreat every other year it's a blast uh, to get involved with looking forward to may we have uh, our graduates the class of 2024 we're going to celebrate them as they try to finish well through the school year um, our baccalaureate is just a really special service where we uh, get to put them on stage we get to interview them get to know our thrive graduates um, everyone is invited to come. Please do come and just um, hear their stories um, and celebrate them, honor their families, those that have grown up through the church. Uh, that's going to be a Sunday night. And so we get to interview them. We have worship and we have a really special time where the parents get to uh, speak a word of blessing over their child. And that's always just a really good uh, service. And so please join us with that. We'll have uh, adopt a graduate things happening around that time as well, where we uh, get ready just for a big time of transition. Um, and this year too, May 27th, we have a brand new um, Thrive event. We're gonna try to host a, a youth group invitational 3v3 basketball tournament. So we're just gonna have some fun inviting other youth groups um, so that someone can have the bragging rights for the best basketball skills uh, while inviting friends into a, a place where um, students get to experience the church. And so um, if uh, we'll be looking for referees and business sponsors to make that a really fun event. So um, that's what's happening in high school ministry. Pray for us. Um, we're always looking for uh, ways to partner with the church and uh, know that we're in this all together. So thanks for tuning in. We look forward to uh, all the things God's going to do this spring. In the bridge, which is the fourth and fifth grade ministry, on April 12th, we have a Nerf night. This will just be a good night to have fun with the kids. It'll also be a night where the gospel is presented. So we're encouraging your fourth and fifth graders to invite their friends uh, whether they know Jesus or not, this is, this is not just a, if you go to the bridge, you can come to this event. Invite everyone that is in fourth and fifth grade. It'll be $5. It'll be the best $5 you ever spend. You get Gatorade, you get pizza, and just a fun night of playing Nerf. I want to tell you everything that's going on in Fusion coming up this spring. We've got a lot planned for the kids, and we are so excited to see the way that God works in and through these different events, and we can come alongside to disciple your students. The first one is one of my favorite events of the entire year. It's our prayer and service retreat. It's going to be happening on Friday, March 15th and Saturday, March 16th. You can find more information on the website about how to sign up. But the reason why I love this retreat is because it's a time where we can slow down. We spend the night here at the church. There's really not anything fun that we do but we get to spend time in intentional prayer, both individually with partners, small groups, and then corporately as an entire group. And then this year we're gonna be partnering with our young adults and we're gonna be serving North Block. We're gonna be cleaning it up. We're gonna be putting in some uh, cement work, doing some uh, filling in some cracks, weeding. We're gonna be taking out a wall, doing some pressure washing, cleaning windows, digging a drainage ditch, all sorts of things. And we are so excited to see how our middle schoolers and our young adults come together um, to serve uh, that weekend. So you can sign up for that March 15th through 16th. The last day to sign up is the 14th. And then right after spring break, April 5th, we have our half nighter. Our half nighters are our large outreach events where we invite as many middle schoolers into this building as we can fit. And it's a time filled with inflatables, lots of fun, really delicious food, just free time and fellowship. But the thing that makes this event so impactful is that we share the gospel. And the gospel is the thing that changes lives. Yeah, inflatables are fun. Yeah, drift trikes are fun and mechanical bulls are fun. But the gospel is the thing that's going to change lives and so we are anticipating our students inviting their friends their non-christian friends specifically to this event and 
for God to change lives. So be praying for us. We are excited. Registration for that opens in just a couple weeks, so you can be looking forward to that. But that is April 5th, uh, and we are excited for that. And then finally, we have our spring retreat. We are going to a new camp this year. We're going to Eagle Fern Camp, uh, just outside of Estacada, Malala area, out in the forest, no cell phone service. And we're gonna be going there on May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And I'm excited to, to see what God has in store for this retreat. We're still working out some of the, the details of what the messages are gonna be about, but you can be looking forward to that as we get closer to find out more information. These are the three things that we've got going on in Fusion heading into the spring, and we are anticipating God doing amazing things. If you could be praying for us, both for our prayer and service retreat, our half-nighter, and our spring retreat, we would love for your prayers. Hey guys, here's the young adult events coming up for the spring. The first one is March 10th. That's going to be Becomer Bingo. The young adults and becomers are coming together to play some bingo Sunday after church. The second one is March 16th. We're gonna take Fusion and the young adults and bring them together to do a service project over at the North Block. The third one is going to be March 23rd. That is a prayer walk for the young adults around the city. Signups will be online. Next one is April 13th. The Amazing Race is back and we are challenging other churches in the city to hold our place as number one held last year. And the last one is May 23rd, and that is where all guys' Bible studies and girls' Bible studies combine out to do the summer Bible study with Ultimate Frisbee in the Park and a new series that will begin May 23rd. So, see you later. All right, it's almost that time of year again. Skills Camp is June 24th to 28th this year, and registration is open for volunteers and their kids, or volunteers and their grandkids, or volunteers and their neighbor who's struggling that they really want to invite. So please get the link to that. It's a link only right now. Um, we ask that you don't share that with the public yet. We really want volunteers to make sure they get a spot before we open it up to the public on April 1st. So if you didn't get an email with a link, you can email me or call the office and get that link. Last year we had over 600 kids. We'd expect the same this year, which requires about 250 of you volunteers. It's a super fun week, so if you've never done it before, plan to sign up this year. I'd like to remind everybody of all of the things that are going on towards the end of the month as it pertains to both Good Friday and our Easter services. So on Good Friday, that's the 29th of the month, We'll have a service at 7 p.m. and we'll be reflecting on the death of our Savior. Then just a few days later, on both Saturday night and Sunday, our Easter services, Saturday night, 6 p.m. normal time, Sunday morning, 8, 9.30, and 11. So invite your friends for the celebration of Jesus' resurrection. Hi there, we just finished um, our Upward season and I wanted to give you all kind of a, a snapshot of some of the great things that happened this past season. And I want to do it by giving you three numbers. The number 20, the number 40, and the number 987. What do those numbers mean? The first one is this is 20 years of upward ministry. Um, to me, that just screams of um, the, the commitment that this church has had to Upward, um, the, the longevity, the, the loyalty. Um, some of you have been serving for 20 years and Upward. Um, it is amazing to me um, how this church has owned Upward um, and has labored so well for so long. I had a, a crazy conversation with a woman um, as I was getting ready to announce the, the kids for a kindergarten game. And this mom said, it is so surreal to hear you announce my son's name as he runs through that tunnel. And I said, well, why is that? And she said, well, it sounds exactly the same as when you announced my name when I ran through the tunnel. And I was stymied. I was like, you were in Upward? She's like, yeah, I played in fifth and sixth grade. And I thought to myself, we've been doing this long enough for this woman to play Upward, grow up, birth a child, and then now bring him to play Upward. Um, we have been doing this for 20 years, and it is so exciting to know that we've been doing it for that long. The second number is the number 40. That's how many people we saw raise their hand and commit their life to follow in Jesus. They took, a, they took a journey with us this last season. And it wasn't a journey to learn how to shoot a, a perfect jump shot or to, 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 to get in the, three, the triple threat position. Um, it was a journey from spiritual death to spiritual life. 27 kids, 
13 adults said yes to Jesus because of this ministry uh, that we are able to take part in. And then the last number I wanted to share with you is 987. That's the actual number of children that wanted to be involved in what we're doing here. We only had room for 840, so I hate the fact that I had to say no to some. So it's a kind of a, a double-edged sword. But when you think of the imprint, the, the impact we're having in our community, 987 kids, they all have parents and they've got grandmas and grandpas that are connected to our church through this ministry. And it's amazing. We are absolutely accomplishing our mission to be a church for the city through Upward. And you guys helped make it happen. So it was an amazing season. I want to say thank you to everybody that prayed. I want to say thank you to the people that, that coached, that refereed. Um, you guys helped make this happen. Um, and you're amazing. So thank you for allowing me the privilege to provide some, some leadership. I get a front row seat to watch God at work. So um, I wanted to encourage you um, with that little report on year number 20 and looking forward to 21. Um, there's a couple other things I want to highlight really quickly. The first one is as we look forward to Easter, we're going to have a church work day on the 23rd. March 23rd is a church work day so we can beautify this place so that we can uh, make a really good impression on all of our, our friends who will be here with us worshiping that weekend. Uh, so you can go on Planning Center, um, use your Church Center app and sign up for the church work day. We'd love to have you join us. And the second thing I want to prep you for, this is a save the date, May 3rd, we're going to have a, a marriage enrichment night. We're going to have a date night. We're going to have Les and Leslie Parrott here with us. Um, if you know Les and Leslie, they have been kind of on the forefront of really, really good um, kind of marriage coaching over the years. So um, we want to help you invest in your marriage to strengthen it. We're going to have fun together. So a date night, May 3rd, write it down. More information is coming, but I don't want you to miss that. So uh, thanks for tuning in again um, on our midweek. We'll see you this weekend.